Can. What ship do you serve on? Tahoma. Tahoma. Who's your commanding officer? David Poe, sir. David Poe. Uh, and don't forget, <laughs> after this salute, you do want to come bring we'll your make kids sure we get a hold of him. Let them see an amputation. What port is he in right now? Oh. Is he here or is he in the port? What's your name? They're going to put that hood off right there. What's your name? Caleb. Seaman Caleb. Ah. Ah. Hold still, soldier. Hold still, Caleb. Ah. Hold still, Caleb. Where are you from? Uh, where were you born? Miami. Uh, 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 get in line. Uh, 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 if you have small uh, children, you might want to hold their hand or cover their ears. Uh, this is going to be a little uh, bit louder uh, than uh, the fire uh, 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 okay, Jeff. You're going to be fine. You're not going to be going to the party. Uh, I will tell you the truth, the leg does not look good. No! Don't take my leg. I've got a We're going to save here. your life. You will be walking the it. decks again. Okay. You will be walking the decks again. We're going to need that chloroform quickly, okay? Yeah. Chloroform in the inhaler. Chloroform in the inhaler. Oh! Left! Left! Taylor, how old are you? 16, sir. 16 years old. Oh. And we can't give him any brandy. Okay. Okay. Listen, sailor, sailor. I've, I've examined your leg, okay? I've got to remove. I've got to remove your leg. I, I have to. It's better. There's nothing left. Okay? No, no. Okay? The Lord, the Lord be with him. Okay? The Lord is with him. Thank you, chaplain. The Lord is okay. with him. Okay. Chloroform him. Put him out. And we'll check out a pulse. Okay. Okay, nurse, I'm gonna need that scalpel. We'll get the tourniquet on here quickly. To get that blood flow uh Attention! flow down. Especially when there's a jokester in the back of the company that doesn't fire the first time and then his musket goes off the second time. He's got a good so solid gun. He's going to survive. He's going to be okay. And then somebody else fires their musket. I'll need that bone fall. Here you go. Thank you. It's kind of a spoof on their captain. Of course, that never happens. You know. Thanks again for coming, putting up with us. We are seven pounds of bacon. We were glad to be here. Honored to take the place of the United Regimental String Band that performed for Nature Coast for years and years and years. They are now retired. Thank you.
Maltese cross bandage. <laughs> Thank you, nurse. Is this your face? Yeah. Nurse, can you dispose of that limp and lay it on the ground? The nurse, you take over here for me, please. Place that over there. The Maltese cross bandage is going over the end of the, uh, the stump. Okay, we can pull off the. How's our pulse? It's a little it's weakening, but it's still there. It's okay. good. Very good. Very good. Slow and steady, though, right? Yes. Slow and steady. Okay. I'll get, I'll get right to that leg one right now. Here's our suture. I got our limbs stacked up here. that has uh, it has grown there. Um, the surgeons and doctors at that time had no knowledge of infection. We didn't have antibiotics. If we washed our hands or if we rubbed our hands on our apron, it was simply because the blood was slippery on our instruments. We did not realize we were passing germs from one soldier to another by means of our, um, our um, tools, our doctor tools. Um, we used chloroform, as you saw, to put him under, uh, to render him unconscious. Very good short-term drug, works about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Amputations were done in a matter of 15 minutes, in rapid succession. Um, I can see the bullet through his skin. Okay, here's the pan. Let's see what we can do. Is this boy waking up here? No, he's still unconscious. Oh, this is good. Soldier, what happened? Did you get it in the arm? You feel okay? Okay. Give him an opium pill. Nurse? Okay. Oh, I can actually see this. I can actually see it here. I've, I've got some material. It's like some material from your uniform went in here, too, as well. Oh, nice. 
of our field hospital, how quickly the soldiers came in, um, how rapidly they would treat them uh, was in uh, quick succession. Um, our hospital was always a distance away from the battlefield. Could be several miles, um, which created a problem in the beginning of the war because they had no means of transportation from the battlefield to the first stop here. And that's where the ambulance corps came into effect. Okay, that's when it was started. Also, triage started during the Civil War. You bring the men in, you place them in a staging area, take the worst ones first, and that's where that began. Any questions? We had, during the war, there was about 60,000 amputations. About half of those are actually documented. They know the soldier, what limb was removed. The legs were the most, arms were second, hands, fingers third, and the feet were last. And when I say there's about 12,000 uh, legs were removed. Now they had prosthesis or, or artificial legs at that time. They were making them. They had factories that made them. It consisted of a leather cap or a portion that the member would sit down into. The bottom uh, part of the leg was, was uh, formed out of wood, and then it had a leather ankle and a wooden foot. And once that foot was in a pair of trousers in a boot, you could hardly tell they had a prosthesis. They, they, got, uh, they learned how to walk pretty well. But the idea was to save their life. So 78% of the amputations were successful. That's the first 24 hours. Then infection would set in, and that percentage dropped down to about 50%. Any other, any questions at all? Thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. This is our gentleman's guide to amputation, if you'd like to review it. This would be a very well done amputation right here. Sewn back up quite well. You can see the tourniquet on here. Here's the limb that they removed. They would bandage it up, and the final step was to have some brandy. I, I don't know how accurate that is. Uh, you know, the guy standing up, he has no arm. I gave him some chloroform to help him pack. Leeches were also used at that time, too, as well for healing. Placed on the skin, they would eat the bad, uh, the bad excess coming from a wound. It worked pretty well. He's still up. His pulse is weak. Okay.